Hello, I'm Pushkar and I'm master teacher in chemistry at Vedantu and I'm discussing chemistry advanced 2020 paper. Now here is a question, very interesting question of the thermodynamics. One mole of an ideal monatomic gas at 900 Kelvin, temperature initially was 900 Kelvin, was subjected to this kind of a process in which it has taken from P1, V1 to P2, V2 process 1 and then from P2, V2 to P3, P3, V3 in the process 2. Both processes are reversible, paths are well defined as shown in the figure. Work done in both the processes are same but the strange thing is that U by R is given on the y axis and S is given on the x axis. So this at a moment it seems to be a difficult question. But then when you see it in applied thermodynamics since it is a straight line, that means entropy in the first process is constant. And that has given us a clue that if entropy is constant, that it must be a reversible adiabatic process for which delta u is equals to w because q is always equals to 0. First hint is this. Second hint is that 2250450, that means 450 minus 2250 is equals to minus 1800 and this minus 1800 is equals to of course delta u by r because r is not going to change so that means this value is what u1 by r and this value is what u2 by r so u2 minus u1 by r is equals to minus 1800 and that gives us the value of delta u in this process is equals to minus 1800 r so these are some clues in the problem. The first process delta u is this. Now delta u must be equals to w. That means delta u must be equals to w. So that gives us the value of w. So w must also be equal to minus 1800 r. So these are the facts which you have to use. Also cv is given as to be 5 by 2 r. cv is given. cv is given in this 5 by 2 r so that is going to give us the clue that delta u is always equal to cv into delta t and delta t is what initial temperature was 900 so t2 minus 900 and that must be equal to minus 1800 r so this also give us some clues so from the, the, there we can get if we substitute the value Okay, so let's solve the problem. So these are the initial temperature was 900 Kelvin as we have seen that uh, delta U in this process is equals to W is equals to minus 1800 R. Okay, so internal energy is decreasing. That means W1 is equals to W2. So let us calculate first T2. So 5 by 2 R which is CV into T2 minus initial temperature 900 must be equal to minus 1800 r so r is cancelled and we left with what t2 minus 900 is equals to 3600 upon 5 with a negative sign so that is equals to 5735 and 720 with negative sign that gives t2 is equals to 180 kelvin so that means temperature here is 180 Kelvin. Initially temperature was 900 Kelvin. And in this process, we have seen that internal energy the, is going to be the constant. And it is an idle gas process. So naturally the temperature here also must be 180. So this process must be what? An isothermal process. So second process is isothermal process. In an isothermal process, the work done is given by W is given by minus RT since one mole of gas is involved ln V2 by V1. So this is equal to, however, minus 1800 R. So 1 R is cancelled. T in this case is equal to already calculated 180. So from this we are going to get ln v2 by v1 is equals to 
eighteen hundred upon one eighty, which is equal to ten. So beautiful problem with no calculations, but all concepts by all standards. This is a good question. A lot of small small facts you have to apply. Total conceptual problem, and I like this problem very much. These kind of questions is really good. Go a long way in, I mean, giving students uh, you know motivation to study deeply. So stay tuned for other such solutions. Thanks for watching.